Hi, so I thought I'd um, try out a couple of new updated versions of Linux. <clears throat> so 25, Ubuntu 25.10 and Zorin 18. Now, I know for a fact that uh, 24 and 25.04, the previous version of Ubuntu works on my machine fine. Zorin never worked. Zorin 17 just wouldn't boot. So, <clears throat> and I haven't got any seen at the beginning of the video I don't have um, a particularly weird spec machine so what I'm going to do is we'll just run through the installers see what happens and then and then I'll have a chat at the end okay so I've got Ryan this in the background I did a re record as I did the install on uh, Ubuntu 2510. So I don't have secure boot I'm using Ventoy, but I did do this on a, a, a vanilla installer USB. Somewhere down the bottom here, it will have Ubuntu 2510. And I did it Grub 1 and Grub 2 for this, and we're into the installer. Give it a minute. <laughs> Now, this is going through like a capture thing. So it's 1080, 1920. There we go. It's found the graphics drive of some, it's found NVIDIA of some kind. And it's going in. Now, I know 2504 worked because I've had it in here. So it's just, here we go. It looks like it's going to boot. thinking about it and orange uh, it's like a kangaroo thing now the in, in the real world the installer should launch in there but like nothing happened so i was sat here thinking okay i'll give it a minute and went up into the toolbar thing and there it is there's the installer but it's not launched install release so clicked on that and Nothing happened. And that was all she wrote. Basically, that's as far as I got with, I did this like, I wasted a lot of time doing this. So I'm a little bit um, unhappy with Concanical or whatever they're called. It just didn't work. Now, if you were new, and you read all the bump about this, you'd think, oh my God, you know, 2510 Ubuntu just worked. I mean, I've got a pretty normal machine and it just doesn't install. And I tried all sorts of, I wasted a lot of time. It's annoying. I just wasted time on something that should be, I mean, Ubuntu should be like the granddaddy, right? It should be the easiest install. It should be the one that works on everything, but it, it, it just doesn't. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that because I found that there's like, probably another hour or so of recorded thing of me trying to get this to literally launch the installer and no i'm not going to go off and google it i'm not going to go and do that because as i'm saying if i was coming for windows or mac this should have just worked and this is like the huge thing with linux now some of the really weird installations like you know, i don't know not weird but like left field installations literally work out the box and this doesn't so okay let's stop that Let's queue up, let's queue up Zorin and properties, let's find Zorin, six, okay, and this is Zorin 18, off we go, let's see how this fares, so again, I used Ventoy, now this one's quite cool, it asks for the modern NVIDIA drivers, great, okay, goes into its thing, I did this again on US, vanilla USB and via Ventoy. Nice logo. Now, version 17 never installed, and it was, I think it was down to the video card drivers. But this is, I can see this, it's loading 5080. So 5080 works on my 5060 Ti, so it should be fine. But yeah, we never even got 17.3, and it was on the, 17.3 uh, was the version I tried didn't install so great it's doing a checksum now 
yeah, again, as I've said, I did this on Ventoy and a vanilla USB installation, just like anybody would. Checking it, stuff. In it goes. Now, I mean, it, great. It's checking that it's checking that um, there is fifty eighty, fifty eighty point six five, and it's finished. No errors, so it should start to install. Loading video drivers, cool. And this is what you saw with the Bluetooth. It should have it went into that like I oh, know I've got video card drivers now. I should just be able to go into it. Is it going to take a few minutes? Hence thinking about it. It's thinking about it. At least you're sort of holding your hand as it goes through, isn't it? Here we go. Looks promising. Sorry, nice logo. And off we go. And there we are. If you look at the bottom, it says failed to start Ubiquiti service Ubuntu Live CD installer. So again, uh, the other half of my morning, and it flashes a bit. Okay, let's just stop that and we'll come back to full screen. Oh, my focus, here we are. So I've tried to install Ubuntu 25.10 uh, and Zorin 18. Both of them won't go on my machine. As you see the, by the specs at the beginning, it's pretty simple. It's nothing, it's a 58, a 5060 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM, SSD, Ryzen 9, um, so it should be like a vanilla install. There's nothing weird in there. They're like quite generic Wi-Fi card and network card on the on the system. So yeah, so that's like an art of waste of time. And it's stuff like this. I'm glad I did that because at the moment, you know, we we people you trying to move people over onto Linux away from Mac and Windows and help them transition. I get a lot of people comments saying thank you for doing these videos because I was thinking of which one to choose because again, you know, there's a lot of Linux distributions, but for Ubuntu, I know is it beta, whatever it is, for that to fail and not even go on my machine is just not great. I mean, all the previous versions, I think there was another one that didn't work earlier on, but I mean, that's just useless. Zorin, I mean, that is again, pitch to beginners and, you know, that should just work, shouldn't it? Right. It, I haven't done anything different here. And it is weird that, and it's interesting to me that there's some like, you know, you've got the new pop beta works fine. Um, Mint is like rock solid and always goes on everything. And Marchy, which is, you know, like Hyperland, Arch, hybrid thing, whatever's going on with that, that works on absolutely everything I can throw at it. But that's really depressing. And that's not very good. So if any of you guys are watching, I mean, I, don't, I haven't done anything wrong here, but that's just a waste of time. It's wasted my time. Um, and it's not very impressive at all for people trying to get into, you know, Unix, if you're going to release it, Linux, right? If you're going to release it, make sure it works. Um, yeah. So that's a bit depressing. Um, I'm going to go back to Amarchi because that works. Um, and that, you know, allows me to do work. That, but for you looking for operating systems to jump on, I don't know. That doesn't really fill me with uh, great confidence for those two distributions. Anyway, thanks for watching.